It's hard to believe that it all started with a clogged toilet. We have been living in this house for five years and had no plumbing issue whatsoever. But all of a sudden about four months ago the toilet in my master's bedroom started clogging up. It became so bad that we started using the toilet in our children's bedroom. Hello, I am 35 years old. My wife is 34. We have three kids and my wife is a stay-at-home mom. My wife has been pressuring me to hire a plumber, but I kept procrastinating because I wanted to fix it myself during the weekend. I have some experience with plumbing because I have done it in the past. One Saturday I found time to buy a drain auger at Home Depot, I thought I fixed the problem, but after two days the toilet started clogging up again. My wife got frustrated that she couldn't use the bathroom in our room and went off on me to get a plumber, because she was tired of using our kids' bathroom. I decided to call a plumber that I normally use to service my two rental properties when I'm having plumbing issues. On the day the plumber came to my house, my wife was visiting her mom and staying over with my kids till the evening so I used that opportunity to get the plumber to come over and fix the clogging issue without interruptions. I was hoping to surprise her so I didn't tell her the plumber was coming. Lately I have been doing everything I can to make her happy because over the past few months she had been really moody and short-tempered. We have the keyless entry door so I let the plumber in remotely using my phone to unlock the door. He called me a few hours later telling me that he found some clogging on my sewer pipe that was caused by condoms getting in intersections of pipe or any snag or object that might be already in a pipe. I didn't believe him till he showed me some drainage camera footage. I still had my doubts because the footage didn't seem that clear to me. It was not believable because I have never used a condom for a while, not since my college days when I was fooling around with my now wife. After we had our third child I decided to get a vasectomy. When my wife returned home that day it was already late and I wanted to go to bed early because I had a presentation at work the following day. My wife brought some food for me and for the neighbors and his two kids. I thought he would cheer my wife up to talk about what the plumber found that was clogging our sewer. We had the same sense of humor so I thought that she would laugh her ass off. However when I told her that the plumber found some condoms in the toilet she didn't react as I would have expected, she tensed up a bit and her face was blushing totally unexpected reaction. I am familiar with her mannerism and I thought her reaction didn't seem appropriate. I have seen that reaction before and I know my wife well enough to feel like something wasn't right. She immediately tried to change the topic. At first, I didn't know what to make of her reaction. I thought maybe this was one of her mood swings. She had been moody for the past four months. I couldn't figure out why. I have been trying my best to do things to make her happy and I feel like I have been walking on eggshells. My wife is a stay-at-home mom and now that my three kids are now in school, she was looking for something to do to keep her busy. I assumed that it must be part of the reason for her mood swings. I thought she had depression. Sure enough, she was diagnosed with depression. She was thinking about getting back into the workforce about a year ago because she was still depressed and we thought it was because our kids are getting older and she was looking for something to keep her busy. Six months later, she changed her mind she did a complete 180 and changed her mind about joining the workforce. Coincidentally around the period when she changed her mind about joining the workforce I noticed that our sex life started to taper off. She started acting different, she was doing a lot more chores around the house, changing the sheets often, less interactive. She was visiting her friends and family a lot less. The only time she leaves the house is to do shopping or go to the gym she lost about 30 pounds during this period. Her wardrobe also changed significantly during this period. She started wearing lingerie, short shorts on several occasions, she wouldn't wear underwear outside the house and especially when visiting the neighbors. It makes sense to me now what she was doing, now I know she was seducing the neighbor and that was when the affair started, but back then I was clueless. After the plumbing incident I didn't know what to make of her reaction and I made a mental note so as to keep my eyes on her. When I started suspecting that she was up to something that was when I started suspecting things that I would normally not suspect before. When we moved into my home five years ago it was a brand new house in a new subdivision. A year later my neighbor moved and let's call the neighbor Cody. Cody moved in with his soon-to-be ex-wife and two children a 19-year-old boy and a 17-year-old girl. 
Cody was 42 years old so he's 7 years older than me and we shared the same hobby so we got along well. We hang out all the time and me and my wife grew fond of Cody and his soon-to-be ex-wife and two children. He had a pool table and I would go over to his house and smoke some cigars drinks and we played pool together. About two months after Cody moved in we soon realized that his marriage was in trouble and his wife wanted a divorce. He tried to reconcile and it turns out that his wife was already having an affair with someone at her job. Cody and his son and daughter took it really hard because they felt like his wife abandoned them. Me and my wife would do the best we could to be there for them unbeknownst to me my wife went too far to cheer them up. My wife started cooking more than we needed so she could share with Cody and his two children. His son also started attending the local community college so he would come back and spend hours at my house tutoring my kids. He seemed like a nice kid so we became really close almost like they lost there and gained me my wife and our three kids. After Cody's wife moved out from his house and moved in with the other man that was when my wife began to change and I blamed myself for not suspecting anything because it was obvious in hindsight. One time we were planning on visiting Cody's house my wife went to his house wearing a shorter than usual skirt and I noticed that she wasn't wearing anything underneath it. When I noticed that I wanted to say something about it and it slipped my mind. When we went back home I remembered and asked her why and she was dismissive saying that she forgot I would never forget forget that day because her response didn't seem right to me. I didn't suspect anything was going on with her and Cody because I was with Cody the entire time. I should also state that it was her idea to be cooking extra for them occasionally, I thought it was supposed to be a temporary thing but my wife continued to do it until D-Day. Another reason why I didn't suspect anything was because Cody worked at least 12 hours every day and is out of his house for at least 15 hours a day. He leaves for work the same time as me and comes back 2 hours after me. The only time we see each other is during the evenings when we are on our porch drinking and on Saturdays and Sundays. Now back to the day the plumber unclogged condoms that was blocking my drink pipe and wife reacted strangely. I remember having a dream some days later that my wife was having an affair. I don't remember who she was having an affair with but when I woke up all I remember was that she was having an affair in my dream. After our third child was born she became a stay-at-home mom. Although she had a little online gig here and there to make some cash I was the primary breadwinner. I have never bothered myself with what she was doing when she's alone at home and my kids are in school but it all changed after the condom incident and the dream. It was like the universe was drawing my attention to something. My mind keeps going through a list of people she might be having an affair with maybe in her yoga class or her gym class. She didn't used to be a gym person now she goes all the time but I couldn't figure out who her affair partner was. I followed her to the gym and I didn't suspect anyone. Cody doesn't have time to go to the gym or do anything else but work. Sometimes she goes to the gym with Cody's 19-year-old son and 16-year-old daughter so I figure she won't have an affair or meet anyone when she's with them. My mind said at the time was that the condom was thrown in my toilet so she must be inviting the person in my bedroom the thought of that just made me sick to my stomach so much that I tried to dismiss it. Back then I should have installed a camera in my bedroom or my house but it never occurred to me till later. Two days after the condom incident I noticed that me and my wife were growing distance every week we would go a week without having sex and when I tried to initiate she would say that she was tired tired of what being home all day. Then she started blaming me for gaining too much weight she wanted me to start working out and get in shape so I can become more attractive. She complained that I should stop drinking and start working out. I took her word seriously because I was desperately looking for a solution to fix our relationship. I thought maybe the reason why we were growing distant is because she was working out and losing weight and I'm going the opposite direction. When I look at myself in the mirror I felt like she was right so I decided to cut my drinking and start doing morning workouts like push up and etc and a few home exercises before I take a shower for work in the morning. One day after waking up early in the morning as usual I did some push up next to my bed instead of the normal routine of going to the spare bedroom. While I was doing the push-up I noticed something like a shiny plastic underneath the bed, the room was still dark and the door was ajar, so the lights were shining through the hallway into the bedroom. When I completed my push-up I reached out to grab what I thought was trash wrappings underneath my bed so I can throw it away. When I picked it up it turned out to be a condom wrapper. 
That was when it became clear to me what was going on, my wife is bringing another man in my bedroom and having sex with him. I look at my wife as she was still sleeping. I went to the hallway to get a better look at what was clearly a Trojan condom wrapper. I was angry because I understand what that meant. I wanted to grab her and demand answers to how and why the plumber found hundreds of condoms in my drain and now condom wrapper was under my bed. I was angry and emasculated and afraid, afraid of my future, afraid of what I will find out, afraid of the woman that I have loved for almost half of my life. I had no choice but to order a hidden camera and install it in my bedroom and living room. I installed the camera and connected it to my Wi-Fi so I can watch and record live feeds on my cell phone. I went to work the following day when I parked my car at the work parking lot, I turned on the camera just to check because I have been thinking about it and to my surprise, I saw my wife's sex with somebody on our bed. It didn't even take 40 minutes after I left the house for her to bring somebody in our house and for them to start having excess on our bed. I was watching it on my phone, the light in the room was still off, but I can make out the body motion and movement and I know who it was it was my neighbor's 19-year-old son. I couldn't believe my eyes. I immediately put my car on reverse, hoping to catch them in the act, I drove back home. When I arrived on the street, I parked my car on the street so I wouldn't make any sound parking in the driveway, and I always opened the front door quietly. I slowly walked to the bedroom and caught both of them sleeping on our bed. There were two unused condoms on my nightstand, and one used condom on my bed, so that was why she was doing so many laundries and chores lately to clean up the evidence of her affair while I was at work. His shirt and pants were on the floor as well. I had anger issues in the past and it all came back in force, I was enraged and I lost it I immediately yanked him out of the bed and started punching him in the face. My wife kept screaming trying to stop me, begging me, after I punched him all the way out of my front door, I turned to my wife and told her to pack her things and move out before I come back from work. Like I said earlier, I had anger issues in the past and the way I deal with it is avoidance because, I would have strangled her if I had stayed a few seconds in my house. I entered into my car and drove off to nowhere, I just knew that I need to put some distance away from me and my wayward wife. My phone started blowing up first my wife then my co-workers. I didn't feel like talking to anyone. Then I parked my car somewhere and cried my eyes out. I called my boss and told him that I have a family emergency, then I called Cody and told him what happened. He was angry with his son and apologized to me. Since I don't have any family close by, I called my wife's dad because I was close to her parents and I told them what my wife had done. Throughout the day my wife tried to reach me but I didn't answer. I came back in the evening when I was calm. Cody was in my house when I came home, my wife was on the couch crying and shaking, her parents came back earlier and took our kids. When I got home, I still had my work clothes on looking disheveled. Cody kept apologizing to me telling me that he knew exactly how I feel. At that point I don't blame Cody's son, I wasn't in a relationship with him, I blame my wife. I had been crying all day, so I didn't have the strength to talk. I changed my clothes, took a shower, and took some sleeping pill. Then I went to my children's room and fell asleep. I know myself well enough that I don't act logical when I'm in an emotional roller coaster. I woke up the following day with a clear mind, I had this overwhelming feeling of sadness and shame like part of me had died. I didn't say a word to my wayward wife, she didn't get any sleep the night before, she still sat in the living room and knew me well enough not to speak to me. When I went to work that day, I searched for a divorce lawyer. I know a divorce would cost me almost half of my assets and I will pay alimony because my soon-to-be ex-wife had been unemployed for more than 10 years and infidelity doesn't have any impact in divorce settlement in my state. I scheduled an appointment with a divorce lawyer two days later. My wife would be moving in with her parents till she sought out her living arrangement, because we agreed that is best she move out. As for Cody's son, he kicked him out of the house, at least that's what he told me, but I suspect that he may be staying with his mom. I am only 35 years old and I'm making good income a few months earlier, I thought my family was perfect, I had three beautiful children, a wife that I thought was loyal and two rental properties and a primary residence and I plan to build wealth and enjoy with my kids and my beautiful wife. Now after the divorce, the life of my children will be disrupted I have to divide my assets and end up like Cody. 
Her excuse for cheating is that she was feeling sorry for Cody's son and they got close and he was given her compliments and that was how it started. Come to find out she had been having an affair with Cody's son for almost seven months. We are still working out the details of the divorce settlement with our lawyers and to add salt to injury I am paying for her lawyers as well. I guess if my toilet wasn't clogged up, I probably wouldn't have found out that my wife had been cheating on me and denying me sex because she was sleeping with a 19-year-old neighbor's son.